Growing frustration tonight from parents who say they don't have a way to send their kids to class. Some local districts are having to keep school buses parked. CBS 13's Ryan Hills getting answers on the back to school roadblock. The wheels on these buses are going round and round, picking up some students from the Elk Grove Unified School District. But not all of them. Another tight turn Sylvia Espinoza is navigating with her daughter, a Manteca Unified student, going back to in-person learning during the pandemic. My husband had to switch to working graveyard at night so that he can pick my daughter up from school. And now I'm having to come in to work late an hour every Tuesday and Thursday because my daughter has to go to school. We want buses! Sylvia, one of several Manteca Unified parents, demanding bus service resume as schools resume. Some parents even protesting this week about the impact it's having on their families. Many parents worried about the potential roadblock it could mean for their kids' education. What if they don't show up to school for transportation reasons and they miss out on that specific test? And I'm speaking for my own child. He is a junior and I really would love to see him graduate with, with his class. Elk Grove Unified and Manteca USD tell me right now special education, homeless, and foster students are being picked up by buses in their district. What's stopping bus services for general education students heading back to school? CBS 13 is getting answers. The districts tell me part of the issue is social distancing. Um, so right now you're looking at zigzag patterns, one student per seat on the bus, roughly. There are only so many seats on the bus. Unfortunately, we can't add seats. Until we receive guidance that changes that capacity number, then that's when we can start looking at how to incorporate general ed students. Both districts are looking to recruit and hire more bus drivers once they do receive that guidance. Parents hoping their kids can hop on board sooner rather than later. We need somebody that can help us with this problem because our kids are our future. Well, Grove Unified says hiring bus drivers has always been a challenge for the district. It also says that it will have to coordinate bell schedules for transporting more students once it gets that new guidance.